Daily Minutes of Saturday, September 26, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today our show is in English. We have for you the Propagation Bulletin and two other news items of the RGB. Hello, this is Bob McCready, G0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS News. IARU Region 1 reports good progress was made at the final European preparation meeting for the World Radio Conference, which will be held in November. For 5 MHz CEPT have agreed that the overall range should be 5350 to 5450 kHz, though opposition at the conference is still expected. However, this is not likely to result in any changes to the 5 MHz spectrum allocated for UK amateur use in the near future. Proposals for the future harmonisation of the 1.8 and 50 MHz bands have also been developed, and it is hoped that at least one of these gets adopted as an agenda item for the next conference in 2019. Further information is at rsgb.org forward slash wrc hyphen 15. rsgb.org forward slash wrc hyphen 15. This year sees the first ever build-a-thon at an RSGB convention. A kit-building workshop with mentors on hand to assist and guide, and the kit being built is the Kanga UK Acorn 2 SDR receiver for 7 MHz. The build will take place on the afternoon of Saturday the 10th of October at the Kent Hill Convention Centre. Places can be booked via the convention booking page at the RSGB shop online. And if you'd like to learn a bit more about the kit, Dan, M0, Tango Golf November, one of the mentors, has posted a video of his test build on YouTube. Now, the actual YouTube URL is a bit of a complicated one so I reckon the easiest way to find it is if you just go to YouTube and then in the search box type Acorn 2 40 meters as just 4OM so Acorn number 2 space 40 M and uh, that should bring that video right to the top of the search list if you want any more information you can email RSGB board member Steve Hartley Golf Zero Foxtrot Uniform Whiskey via G0FUW at rsgb.org.uk now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero, Kilowatt Yankee Alpha, Golf 4, Bravo Alpha Oscar and Golf 3, Yankee Lima Alpha on Friday the 25th of September. Starting on a happier note, it has been good to see the HF bands becoming more active this week as we head into autumn. With a solar flux index of around 105, 15 metres has been showing promise with the Yankee Victor 5 Bravo beacon in Venezuela and the 4 Uniform 1 United Nations beacon in New York romping in on 21150 megahertz during mid to late afternoon. These are both part of the worldwide international beacon project that lets you get a feel for global conditions on the five highest HF bands. The 6G's D exhibition to Niue Island in the Pacific has also proved to be fruitful for better equipped stations. They've been worked on a variety of bands with 20 metres, 17 metres and 15 metres being productive. Conditions have still been variable with the KP index hitting 7 last Sunday due to an incoming coronal mass ejection hitting the earth, but the middle of the week was more settled, which no doubt helped the higher bands. This coming week, the solar flux index is predicted to be in the range 90 to 100. Geomagnetic conditions may be reasonably settled at least until next Thursday and Friday. As always, solar flares, coronal mass ejections and high-speed solar wind streams may cause disrupted conditions at times. Now the VHF and up propagation news and the area of high pressure over the country this weekend will continue to be a major player on the weather charts throughout the coming week. Most weather models start off with the centre over the North Sea, then one evolution transfers it to the west of Ireland while another to the north of Scotland. This means that the early part of this week should be good for enhanced VHF UHF tropo conditions on paths within and from the UK. Paths will occur where the temperature inversion is strongest and the moisture content near the surface greatest. Get those horizontal beams turning and try SSB and CW modes to get the best out of any lift conditions. Look for areas of fog or misty low cloud on the satellite pictures to get the best paths. Note that it is often better to try paths along the side of the high rather than across its centre since the temperature inversion can be too low in the middle. Again, no major meteor showers this week, so keep looking in the early mornings for the best random meteor scatter opportunities. For EME operators, the moon's declination goes positive from the 27th with increasing moon windows starting in the evening until the following morning. Monday sees the moon at perigree, which means lowest losses. And that's it from the propagation team for this week. And a reminder that if you would like to see a transcript of this full bulletin, you will find it at the RSGB website under news. I'm Bob McCready, G0FGX, and this has been the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain.